Well, hi guys. Yeah, I wanted to do a quick look at the different, different, a couple of different types of external hard drives that you might be interested in getting. Um, so number one, let me put this one aside. Let me talk about this one for just a second. Something like this. This is a 250 gigabyte Seagate Free Agent Go, is what it's called. Very thin, very light. The interface it uses is USB. USB only. It has one port in the whole thing. All you do is plug it in and plug this end into your computer. And you are set to go. It's very, very nice to be able to have that portability and be able to take this to wherever your computer or laptop or netbook or whatever happens to be and not have to have a, an external power source is very nice. However, there are a lot of downsides. It's very slow, number one. Number two, some laptops and netbooks may not have enough power through the USB to run this drive. You may have to get some sort of a splitter and use two USB uh, ports. So if you're having that problem, you may want to consider getting a splitter that splits this one into two so you can get double the power enough to run this. So the next type is more like something like this, which is an external enclosure in which you can install any hard drive you like. For, you know, you could so you could theoretically have a 100 gigabyte hard drive up to a two terabyte drive installed. It has its own fan. You can turn the fan on or off. It also runs on USB 2.0 or you can also use external serial ATA which is how I like to run it because then it runs about as fast as an internal hard drive very very fast so it all it has a power switch but the downside the main downside of this one number one it's quite a bit larger than something like this number two and the main downside probably is its portability or lack thereof right here is its DC in so you have to actually plug this into the wall to make it run. It will not run by just simply plugging the USB into the computer like the smaller one will. So there's a lot of give and take on these two separate types of external drives, but I guess you have to decide for yourself, do you want the portability and you know, very slow performance, or instead, do you want the very, very fast, high performance? Um, your choice of hard drives and the ability to switch out hard drives by taking out four screws and then four more screws inside, slipping a new hard drive in. You know, somewhat a couple years down the road, you want to get a two terabyte drive. Um, you can take the drive that's in here, put it in your computer, use it as a boot drive, and install a bigger drive into your external enclosure. So that's been a look and some of the ups and downs of a couple of different ways to go on uh, external hard drives. I hope this helps somebody make up their mind. Um, me personally, I use both. I use this sometimes, uh, my smaller one to back up some files and so forth. And I use this one quite a bit more for uh, 
images from my hard drive, uh, backing up large amounts of uh, media, pictures and music and video. Um, since it's so fast and has so much more storage uh, and keeps cool with its own fan, I don't need to worry about it. And I myself like something like this a lot more. But one like this has its place. So anyway, you guys have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. See ya.